So that was an Aerodrome Aeroplane Sopwith Camel. And um, Robert actually had three of those planes that a customer ordered. Um, and he built all three of those and then he um, is gonna disassemble them and send them overseas. And I got to make the prop for all three of them. Uh, they all have a Werner um, Scarlet 7 cylinder radial on them. So this is a radial out of the Czech Republic, I believe. And they're, they're built all brand new, so it's um, a modern radial engine. And it has, uh, it's rated at 124 horsepower at 2300 RPM. So that RPM is a little bit lower than um, most engines you see, like something like a Lycoming usually have a max RPM of something like 25 to 2700. So because the max RPM is a little bit lower, I was able to put a longer prop on them, which looks really great with these World War I replicas because that's kind of what they're iconic for is that super long prop. Um, so with these, I went with an 86 by 37. So the pitch is pretty low on that, but um, that again is related to the slow speed of the airplane. These are probably going to cruise at about 90 mile an hour and also the low RPM of the engine because I think they cruise at like 1900 RPM, something like that. Now these planes are pretty light. They're about, um, all three of them came in at right around eight to 900 pounds empty weight. Um, so they're light planes and th those engines have tons of power for them. So even if I didn't technically hit max RPM, um, it was still okay because they have plenty of power. Um, so then let's see here. What else was I wanting to talk about? Um, they all three, like I said, they all three have the seven cylinder engine in there. And I think on the triplane, you can see that the, when it gets to there, the takeoff roll is really short, but I'll go ahead and tell you now so you can look at it when it comes up. Um, they said it was a little less than 200 feet on that. So that kind of tells you what kind of um, torque and power these engines have. And the pilot is Harvey Cleveland, and it is just so much fun to watch him fly. Just every airplane looks happy whenever Harvey's flying it. It's just the best thing ever. I love watching Harvey fly. So these are all three kits. Robert built these completely, but he also has kits that um, he just sends out to you. Um, he also has uh, builder assist programs where you go to Holden, Missouri, and he will help you build your plane. Um, and he also builds them completely himself if that's, you know, what you're looking to do. Um, but I highly recommend you go check out his website. He also has a nice Facebook page. He, he doesn't do YouTube. I don't think he does Instagram. Um, but he has really, really great stuff to look at. And I think he has about 30 different designs, I think. Um, for. and they're all just amazing and you can do 7 8 scale you can do full scale uh, he has lots of different scales so you can you know have a much smaller plane I think maybe the Eindecker may be close to being ultralight legal that's how how light he gets them uh, so I highly recommend you go look at his website and see all his amazing planes and the kits that he offers. We've been uh, doing business with Robert for probably 15 years at least and so just a really really great guy, really great company. So there is your video for today. A couple of props actually flying <laughs> instead of the videos of how they're made. Here's uh, just some of the finished product. So I hope you guys have a good weekend.